Yeti, but your own body, or your own head, but a full Yeti fur body? I don't know, actually, because I feel like I'm very tall and I have big feet, so it's very similar. So I think keeping my head and having a Yeti body wouldn't be too different from what I have now. Would you rather wrestle a Yeti once or be stuck in the Arctic for a full year? Wrestle a Yeti? Well, honestly, Yetis are very nice. The big feet, we are very kind, so I don't think we're the wrestling type. So I think we just talk it out. Would you rather go on a date with Channing Tatum or James Gordon in real life? They're both awesome and they're great in the movie, so. That's my answer. If you have a date with Channing, you can talk about Magic Mike for the whole day. So that would be quite good. <laughs> would you rather have a karaoke night out with a Yeti or a small foot? I'm gonna go with the Yeti. That's a bucket lister right there. Like, who can say they did karaoke with the Yeti? Do you have a song you reckon you'd sing on your karaoke night? Michael Jackson something. I'm not really sure what anyone would work. And would you rather have blue Yeti feet or blue Yeti lips? Blue Yeti feet? Because again, the size would probably be the same, so it's fine. You could hide them under shoes. Yeah. <laughs> What would you say is your funniest or most memorable moment from filming? Well, we don't really film, do we? So it's kind of learning the process of thinking at some point these words that I'm saying are going to be turned into an animation that will be a character that will have a face that will say, my, have my voice. And it's, I don't know, it's just a very interesting process. It's really fun. It's really cool. It requires a lot of imagination because obviously you don't really know what it's going to look like. It's a lot harder than you would expect because you would think, oh, it's easy, you know, you don't have to get in hair and makeup and whatever, whatever, but it, it actually is much harder because you have to find a way to convey the emotion without being able to use your face or your body, you know, so it's just you just have your voice to make it happen. How does that work when you're in the voiceover booth? If you're, you have to make specific noises, do you have to be like, oh, ee! The awkwardest part is at the end of a session, they'll get reaction noises and it's like screaming and running and like panting. And it's just awkward and the awkwardest one is laughing. Like, have you ever been told to laugh when nothing's funny? It's just like really weird. Like, you're like, okay, laugh. You're like, <laughs> like, it's just strange. It's not, it's not natural. It doesn't feel right. Learning about animation, I think I've been more so impressed just by the amount of work that it takes. And there's just these huge, massive teams of people that just, are constantly creating this world and, and you know there's so much detail and the texture of their fur and the way it moves. So many things that you don't even think about as a viewer that I think are just so so cool and so interesting and it's been really cool to watch the process of it being one simple shot going from like a sketch to um, an actual full animation. Is there any moments that were bloopers like a particular bit that you kept stumbling on? My character kind of goes on these rants of like figuring things out and so there's I get these big paragraphs of like just that I have to speak really really fast and those were probably the most fun to do because it's like it's nice it's a nice challenge to see how fast I can say as many words as I can. Did you do any of the recording with castmates or with Channing because you had some scenes with him? You know what's funny is no. I, there was one day that I did get to go in with Channing which was cool but mostly all of us kind of do it at completely different times because there's so many different characters with very busy schedules, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm sure it's not easy to track down LeBron, you know what I'm saying? That also adds an element of trying to figure it out and putting the pieces together because you don't necessarily have the people in front of you to figure out like how they're playing their characters, so you just kind of have to to go with it. You did a song as well. Mm -hmm. the song is just Michi singing at this point, so it's just like recording a regular song. Um, but the coolest part is just later we get to kind of see a Yeti singing it, which is which is pretty cool. And if there is a Smallfoot sequel, what would you like your character to be doing? Because you could be heading up the Smallfoots, the Yeti. I know, I don't know. I think she would be helping her, her dad out. She would definitely, I think, be in power in some way and be doing great things for her community. And because there is a whole truckload of talent and voices, you could choose anyone to join the cast for the next film. I don't know. Well, you've got Niall doing the soundtrack. Yeah. So you could have you potentially could have all of the One Directioners coming. Yeah, you could have, um, you know, I mean, you could have anybody. That's the coolest part about, you know, animation is like just Anybody can come in and be a part of it. Well, where's Beyonce? You know, of course, we wouldn't want Beyonce to be in their movie. We agree. Right? Beyonce for the sequel. I mean, she's doing Lion King. <laughs> so, <laughs> I highly doubt she'll do this, but one can hope. So, we can't wait to see you as Michelle in Spider Man Far From Home. What are you most looking forward to with that film? I don't know. We just, we've just been having a lot of fun. Like, it's been, a, it's been great to just kind of be back in our, our groove again. Is there anything particular you'd like to see from Michelle? I don't know, I guess because I only had like two lines in the first one, anything's kind of exciting, right? Like, <laughs> I'll take anything. 
And Spider-Man's last moments in Infinity War were very emotional. How did you feel watching it? I was just as emotional as everyone else. Did you cry? I cried. I mean, I got, I didn't cry. The tear didn't fall, but it was definitely, I was getting misty. I will say that. I got misty. You're rumoured to be Ariel in the new Little Mermaid live-action film. Just rumour. Would for you now. be up for turning your hair red? We'll see.